Deportiva y con Sui. Deportiva y con Sui. La factoría del deporte de este New York para ti. Es una máquina. Es una máquina. Pensada para ti. Pensada para ti. Número uno en las redes sale la que Con informaciones importantes siempre frescas. Y con entrevistas que te ponen de cabeza. Lo mejor del deporte lo encontrarás aquí. Búscale en las redes sale la que Suscríbete. Ahí sí. Infórmate. Ok. The winning team is Lou and I. Excuse me. This is our training. All right. Uh, team Blue. Ready. Frank. Alde. <laughs> This guy is everyone that's on our team, just watch. <laughs> Alana Martinez. Are we smiling? I've had the back row slide. Keep shifting a little bit. Yeah, right there. Alright. Here we go. One, yeah. two, three. Good. Who is the video? Come on, come on. Come on. These are the largest, but trash. Extra. It's the same size. Morning, what are we going to do? Look at the Can someone join me? 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 Can someone Three. It's a little. She's it's a magic number. number. I want to get like. <laughs> this is, can I have a medium back? back? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, what's your number? Even this one goes oh, down. Down. It looks <laughs> <laughs> Even this one. Everybody goes. Anybody with a medium want a bigger jersey? Yeah, bigger one. This is a large. Come on, bro. Let's make this picture look good. Good job, guys. We right here. Great. Let's go, guys. Great unit. Let's go, guys. All right, so we got to go with the try the mediums. Uh, Medium. Got to try it. Medium. Is that a medium? Okay. Wait, that is. So if you want to switch. Or is that a medium? No, it's a large. We have a number nine here that's a medium. A large. You want to try that? Number nine? Oh, oh, I'll take that. Number nine? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else want to switch numbers? Seven. Thirteen. Okay. I do. Brown. Brown. No, you're good. It won't hit me anyway. Two? Yeah. Thank you. Walker. Uh, what number? 20. 20. Wolf. 25. 25. Curry. Nine. Uh, Sarah. 19. Nicole. 22. Lily. 24. Very nice.
Okay, copy to join your team for infield outfield. Do I need to add anything else to that? Did you guys understand that? Yes. Okay. All right. After that, we're gonna do some base running. We're also we're gonna stay on our, our respective fields and do base running. Please, I know that base running a lot of the times in practice is overlooked. Get advanced 90 feet. That means we're closer to home. The higher chance of scoring, and that's the point of the game. So please, please, please pay attention. This is a definite way that you guys can add to a team in whatever team you are, boys, girls, national team, college, wherever you are, you can add to a team's strength by being a great base runner. Yes, ma'am. If first base is your second position, do you still go? What's your first position? Pitcher. First base. Pitchers are not gonna separate. So if you're between that, like she said, pitcher and something else, you go to the something else. Okay. Um, yes. So we're gonna go through. We try to minimize the size of the field. Really focus. On Footwork around first base so important. Why? Because you make the difference between out or ball to the backstop or ball to the side. Right? We gotta make sure that we block it up. But around first base, you've gotta make sure. Do we have anybody righty or is everybody lefty? One righty. Okay. Two, two, righties. two righties. So your footwork, right foot, right? but I want to make sure that we're around the bag and then we transition to the throw. Because look at the difference between how far I can reach here and how far I can reach here. Make sense? So I need good footwork. A lot of us sometimes get lazy around the bag and we just get here with one foot, regardless of what, what arm we throw with. We want to make sure that we transition on the bag to help out our throwers. Because honestly, those fielders don't give you good throws all the time. How often do you get this throw? Rarely, right? So I need you to be the most athletic on the field. A lot of times they think first basemen get put here because they're the big hitter. Well, yeah, you are a good hitter, but you're also needing to be super athletic to be able to move around this bag with great feet. Quick feet, so important at this position, okay? So what we're gonna do right now, I want you to step in here. Pick one of the angles that you're gonna take. Sorry, a lot of lefties, I'm a righty, so I do it different. But I want you to pick, you're gonna step in and you're gonna pick this ball, next one in, Pick the next ball, pick the next ball around the horn. Does that make sense? Just go through quick, just like you do at first base. So come in from the side. Just step to the pick. Now, when you, sorry, come back really quick. When you pick a ball, I apologize. When you pick a ball, I don't want you to just pick the ball right in front of you. Meaning, I want you to pretend like you're picking through two balls. So as I stride to pick, I'm gonna pick this one, but I also wanna pick the second one. A lot of times I see first baseman pick and pick up, and that's gonna make the ball under, over, you're gonna flip it up to the sky. I need you to pick and pull through, or push through the second ball. Makes sense? Make sense? So there's not gonna be a second ball out there. Pick and go through, good, next in. Hop out, in and out, go, go, go. Pick. Next ball, go. Good, next ball, go. You guys are tall as There, make sure you're low. Ah, under, right? Under and through. Here we go. Next in. And through. Get low. Low, low, low. Those legs have to be super strong so you can get low enough to get under that ball. Go. Good. Next in. Make sure you pick through forward. Landing like a helicopter. Land like an airplane. Land like an airplane. Come on up like an airplane, right? Next, come on, hustle through, hustle through. Get your footwork. Make sure that foot is closest to the ball that you're going, right? Move it on the back. Good move on the back. Make sure when you go, you don't start this way. If you're gonna backhand, get ready to backhand. Because sometimes you'll be weak. Ground ball. If we're here, we're gonna have a problem. Okay. The one right at you, right? This one. So you have to make a decision. Are you gonna pick it backhand? I would suggest that. You pick this way, more often than not, it goes right here. Here, at least you've got some body and some arm in the way, right? So ball straight at you. Let's say it's coming from short. 
to this ball here. Get the foot in the right spot and work the backhand to that ball right at you. Yep. Next, go in. Be careful on that. As soon as you leave here, she's going to go back. Very nice. Yes, that way you can. All right? Very nice, very good, very good. Put the ball over there, very nice. Go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, very nice. That was amazing, great job, great job. Very nice, good effort, come on. Very nice. every single time okay here we go feed her far enough that she has to stretch If you let that ball go by, then we're in trouble. But that first step, you're okay. gonna make her better.
gonna get everyone All right. right. Okay. That's okay. Make it hard so you're better in a game. Here we go. out but the ball's not back there for extra bases. Challenge her. Make it farther away. Yes. That's good. Are you okay? <laughs> I wish I could. The more controlled we are, the scared the, the more scared the runner is going to be. If the runner sees you chaotic, reaching for balls, unbalanced, all of those things, they're going to go. A cautious runner that sees you looking at them and confident and moving efficiently, they're not going to go. They're going to say, oh my God, they're going to get me. I'm going to stop right here. That's what I would have said, right? So if I'm out of control, reaching far for the ball, anything that's unbalanced, that gives the runner a better chance of getting the second. So as long as we look controlled and confident, we got it. Another thing we can do is as we go down for the block, the split second, I'm doing a little peek to first base. All I'm doing is telling the runner I'm watching you. And all you're doing is looking for movement. You're not looking to see details. I don't want to know what color nail they have. Okay, so you're just looking to see if there's quick movement or not. If there's a lot of movement, they're going, right? If they're stuck in the middle, we could also see that. Or if they're stopped, then that gives us a little bit more sense of calm. So I'm gonna go block the ball. Take a peek as I'm standing up. That looks so unathletic. Here we go. Block the ball, take a peek. I'm gonna stand up because I like the monkey stance. And I'm gonna come and get the ball and I'm gonna be ready to go. Here we go, everybody give us a peek. You wanna see it? We'll block it. Go again, go again. Here we go, secondary. Reset, secondary, hold it. Go, go, come on. Peaked, who did it? Tell me. Peaked? Peaked? Manfield, did you peek? Doing that, we're peeking. What way is first base? Thank you. That's it. Over there. <laughs> okay. Here you go, here you go, secondary. Go. Take a peek, take a peek, get up. What do you think, Anna? What we got? Anyone peek this time that didn't peek last time? There. I like it. All right, reset. One more time. Good secondary. Hold it. Get those legs strong. Go. Good job. We got them all. Nobody saw that base. We just saved the run. Be careful on that toss. You don't want it to come behind because they can't see it. Ball, please. Watch this. Stay back so they have to feed you. Go. Now, let your player know, let your partner know if you can't see it. Make sense? Go. All right. Is she okay? Let her know. You stood up. You went here. Yeah. Here. Go. Good toss. We already did. We good. I'm not worried about the base. Where'd your ball go? Did you run through it? You were here, so you had to rear back. I need you to run through that. To get all, you're, it's almost like you're jogging up to give it to her. Let the momentum of your legs carry you. One more time. Don't worry about touching the bag. You're not the pitcher anymore. Stay low. Nice toss. Good toss. You, hey, you toss. Good. Try to get that in front. You know what I mean. You're a pitcher too, yes? You know. Righties have the advantage. You can see it the whole time.
You guys need water? Get water real quick. Guess what? You get better because you find a way to succeed. But if I'm giving you the easy junk, you don't get better. So if you fail, don't get down on yourself. Push yourself. No big deal. Find the back. Find the back. Left from there. Go. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's go. Come on, you can do it. Go. Turn. Amazing. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Very nice turn. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go. All right. Very nice play. Very nice play. Let's go. Good effort. Good effort. Let's go. Turn, turn, turn! Oh! All right, hey. It's going to be harder for you. This is getting too easy. Let's go. This is too good. <laughs> all right, let's go. One more. Let's go. Outside, all right? Yeah. All right, let's go. Very nice, very nice. Let's go, come on. Win. All right, let's go. Come on, you can do it. Come on. 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 Come on.
Alright, let's just pull it up for a little bit here. Alright. Thank you, girl. No, thank you, girls. Good job, everyone. Yeah, okay. that was amazing. Good energy. Oh. Good effort. We're not even in a game yet. I know. We're not you even girls, in a game yet. You girls are amazing, alright? Did everything great. Love the intensity. Love the determination. I know that you guys are like, you know, like infielders mostly, but you girls look really good as an outfield. All right, great job today. Whenever you guys are doing first hour step is important, all right, so that you can get to the ball. All right, but you girls, I have no complaints. You girls did outstanding. Seriously, thank you. Made my job a lot easier. All right, thank you. Great job. Outfield on three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Outfield. outfield. Very nice. You thank girls you. are amazing. Thank I didn't you know coach. he was gonna do oh, this. No. Uh, okay, Bruce, first time and you're coaching, you're part of EDI. Why was it important for you to be here with these girls this week? Well, I mean, uh, you know, first of all, like I have four daughters. So, uh, you know, I have been doing a lot of things, you know, with, uh, you know, with the, with, with the guys in professional baseball. I work with the uh, Cleveland Indians uh, in the uh, Dodgers, and I did Latin America. I also did showcases for the guys in Latin America, younger guys. And then when I got the opportunity, to uh to teach girls baseball i was like first i asked if it was softball because i really didn't know that there was girls baseball until i came here and then they got invited and you know it's it's a, it's a great opportunity i mean whenever i get to push myself and get myself in a you know outside my comfort zone and then come here and teach and see how good these girls are it's a life-changing uh experience I didn't even notice that plane. Oh, you were way over the plane. Yeah. It's just background. So let's talk, touch on that talent. You've gotten to see them the last few days in this morning. What can you say about the female talent here? Well, first of all, I'm very impressed with the talent that they have here. Girls are very athletic. They move well. They have the fundamentals. They, they need a little bit more of like, um, you know, consistency so that they can continue to showcase their talent. But like the pitchers throw strikes. They have, a, they have at least two pitches. Uh, they're around the zone. The infielders are, you know, they have good fundamentals. They, they stay low. They, they have like uh, the, the two steps. Uh, the outfielders, they do a great job. Most of them, they can play every single position. But the most important thing that I see about these girls is their determination, their perseverance, their hunger. I mean, they want to learn. They, they work very hard. They, 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 they had, in order for them to get here, they had to play against the boys. They had to do things and they had to persevere. You know, they had to get that stigma. Oh, girls don't play baseball. And because of that, they're warriors. They, they fight for everything. They want to learn. They're hungry. And it's a, it's a pleasure to, to coach them because that's what you want. You want somebody that wants to learn. I heard that your speech to them the first night was just so empowering. What were, just give us a little uh, touch on what you said to them when you spoke to these girls. Well, these girls are amazing. You know, we were talking about Jackie Robinson, how he changed the game, how, you know, his determination, his, per his perseverance, his uh, integrity, all these qualities. And I told these girls, you girls are also changing this game. You girls are going to make a big impact. You girls have all these qualities that Jackie Robinson showed to, in order for him to show to, to change the game. And deep inside, they not deep inside, the inside of them, they have the potential to change the world. And I just want to be a part of them so I can help them develop, grow, and change this game for a better uh, for a better place. What is the one thing you're trying to teach these girls? Well, I just want to teach them the, the fundamental and then give me good energy, good effort, good attitude. That's all I'm asking them. I don't want them to be perfect. Sometimes these girls, they want to be perfect in everything. They don't need to be perfect. I just want a good effort. And if they have given me a good effort, that's all I'm asking for. Why? Because it's going to be there. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that one's fine. Hi, no, you're you're great. Hi. I'm just saying. The last sentence. The yeah, I pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just because if they give me a good effort, you know, everything is going to be there because these girls, you know, they have the fundamentals, they have the hunger. I mean, they're going to be okay. All I want them is to give me the best effort and then feel good about it because I sometimes I feel they're too hard on themselves because they need to be perfect and I don't want them to be perfect. I just don't need them to give me the best best effort. Got it. I was like, I didn't this know is the busiest I've ever seen. Flight time? Yeah, I just. Did you call him? Did you tell <laughs> I him? guess hey, so. Yeah, I don't want to hit him. 
I got an interview at this time, so it's going to fly on. by, you know. All right. Uh, by the time you ask the question, we're good. So you've mentioned a couple times how girls want to be perfect. We do. We do. How do you? What's the main difference you see in females and males coaching them? What's the difference? What's the similarity that you see between these girls and men? Well, I mean, the the level of talent. I mean, the the, the fundamentals. I mean, they're very similar. I I see like some. I mean, obviously, sometimes of the boys, you know, because they have been trained a little bit more, because they have a little bit more one on one, or they have been able to play more. You know, they're in a level a little bit higher. But the difference that I see is like these girls are open to any instruction, and and that could be good and bad, because sometimes you need to be confident. You know, like oh, this is what I'm doing, and then continue to do that. But if you start changing every single time then that's not good. So that's why I want them to give me the best effort and don't try to be perfect. Obviously, work towards being perfect, but if you're not perfect, it's not the end of the world. You can come back the next day, continue to work hard, continue to give me your best effort, and you will be there. But the thing is, baseball is a game of failure. You can't be perfect. The best hitters see three out of 10. So if you go home every single time feeling like a failure, that's not good. I want them to understand that, hey, all I want is to give me a good effort. If at the end of the day you give me your best effort, then you can go home and sleep well because that's all I want. And then you can feel good about yourself the next day and the next day and the next day. Because eventually, if you, if you start feeling that you need to be five for five every single time or throw strikes every single pitch, you're not going to do that. And then that's not going to help you. I want them to be able to recognize that and then continue to live day after day after day feeling good about themselves so that that's going to help them the next day. That's something ingrained in females. We just think we have to be perfect. So it's you, you have a tough battle ahead of you. I don't, I don't think so because these girls are receptive. They, they understand. And when you talk to them, it's a lot easier to talk to them. It's it's a lot easier to talk to the girls because they listen to you, all right? And once you start shifting their focus about not being perfect on performance-wise, but being perfect about effort-wise, then it's life-changing. Because now these girls only concentrate on a good effort. And if they concentrate on good effort, and that's what I want, I want them to be perfect in something. I want them to be perfect in good effort. They give me a good effort, then they're gonna be fine. Why? Because they're, when they go practice, they're gonna do the best they can. When they do uh, hitting, defense, everything, they're gonna do the best they can. And then at the end of the day, they're not gonna be looking at the results. They're gonna be looking at, did I give my best effort? And if the answer is yes, then you can go sleep. That's awesome, that's huge. So you touched on the stigma and of girls playing sports, especially baseball. 67% of these girls here already play on a baseball team back home. So how cool is that to see already the progress that females are making? I, I am very impressed. You know, like uh, I didn't know that girls were playing baseball and, you know, like Team USA, they have the baseball. But seeing the level and seeing like, you know, these girls here and the level that they are playing at, I can see why they're playing high school and playing with the boys. Uh, but not only that, it's just, they, sometimes people don't understand, like they see, oh my goodness, you know, like I get put in a different situation. I, I think these girls are put in a situation where they have to learn how to, uh, you, know, you know, like be persistent, you know, their determination, all these things that sometimes I wish some of my baseball players that I have like in professional baseball had because those are the things that are going to push you to the next level. These girls are definitely going to change the world and they're going to change it for the better. I don't know if it's going to be playing the game or something in front office with baseball or something, but they're being prepared for something bigger than just playing baseball. It's going to be something where, you know, frustration or anything that can put somebody down, they're not going to give up because they know what, what hard work it is like. They, whenever they see adversity, they're not going to see it as a problem. They're going to see it as a, as a challenge because that's what they've been doing the whole life. So these girls are amazing right now and they're just going to continue to get better. USA Baseball, MLB comes together to put this on. Why is it so important for MLB and USA to come together for these females? Well, first, 
we need to like that working together that relationship is huge you know we have done that like in the combine we can do it in the in, in, in different areas now we're doing uh, this I'm very proud of Major League Baseball for giving this opportunity to the girls I know that growing the game is important but growing the game this way is huge girls these girls have shown me that they have the talent to play the game they have the passion to play the game and they have the determination to play the game so for me it's a win-win situation. USA Baseball continues to grow. Major League Baseball continues to help grow the game in a good way. So I'm very proud of all the things that Major League Baseball is doing because this is a really good program. Last one. How long till we see a female at least drafted and playing in minor leagues? I'm, I, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm hoping that this group is going to come, one of the girls that can play uh, the game. I have seen some really good pitchers. I've seen some really good position players. I think the first one is going to be probably a pitcher, probably a left-handed pitcher where they can throw. But, I mean, with the talent that we have here, I think that they only need more development, more consistent, more games. Take care of them where you can put them in a situation where they're consistently training, training the right way, playing the game. They're going to get better because, I mean, they don't play enough, and I think if they play enough, you'd be surprised. It could be maybe three, four, five years before see that, and I think it's going to come from this group. Last one, I did lie. Um, I did hear some of the girls telling stories about how at home they're not treated the best. Like the other teams yell stuff like, you should belong in the kitchen, this, that, really mean things. What do you say to those females? That, not the ones saying mean things, but the females that are out here trying to break those barriers. Well, first of all, I'm very proud of them. I, it takes a, a strong person to persevere through all these things and their passion and the love for the game says a lot because a lot of people in, during that time they would just quit or they were turned away but no not only they continue to be there but they keep pushing harder and harder to keep getting better that's admirable that's something that prepares themselves for better and greater challenge challenges that they're going to be facing so I have four daughters I, I know that you know, all the challenges that girls face. I can't believe during this day and age we still have to battle these things. But you know what? They're making a difference. Right? They're, they're changing people's mind. They're going to continue to push this game and they're going to push uh, the different perspective and they're going to keep pushing women into be doing bigger, better things. So I just want, don't give up, continue to work hard. And you have a big, big supporter in me because I know what you girls are capable of doing. And Major League Baseball is doing a great job. And I'm very proud because they're doing a really good job in helping and developing uh, the game of baseball with the girls and all around the, and all around the world.
been for an hour. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> okay, uh, all to me, so everything. Your first, your first and last name. Hi, I'm Maggie Fox. How do you spell? M-A-G-G-I-E and F-O-X-X, two okay. X's. Two X's? Yes, ma'am. Where are you from? Bedford, New Hampshire. What position do you play? I'm a catcher and a right-handed pitcher. What's the high school that you play on? Bedford High School. Awesome. Okay, Maggie. First ever girls baseball, EDI. Why did you want to be a part of this week? I wanted to be a part of this week more to just hang, also hang out with my friends, but I also wanted to be a part of this week because it's such an honor to wear the MLB logo across my across the front of my head and the USA Baseball logo across my chest. Um, it's my biggest goal and my biggest dream to be a part of the part of the national team and start started behind the dish. So I'm super excited to see how the rest of this week goes and have a bunch of fun with my friends and get better. What was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be one of the girls invited? <laughs> well, we still have a group chat from the Breakthrough Series, like back in November so all of us were just texting back and forth we were super excited I, I remember like getting all hyped with my mom and my friend Maggie and we were all super excited it was so such a great experience to find out again you mentioned the women's national team and now you're learning from those coaches what have you been able to learn so far I've been able to learn a bunch of stuff about catching like receiving stances and blocking stances we did this really fun game where we had to not let the ball get past us I won just saying um we also did a bunch of good throwdown work. One of the biggest tips that I got from Coach Ann and Coach Veronica was to make sure my feet were in line because I was closing off a little bit. Um, we did some good transfer stuff. It was a lot of fun. 67% of the girls here play back home. So that's more than half of the girls here play baseball with the boys back home. You're one of them. Yes, ma'am. What is it like playing with the boys? Playing with the boys is one of the best experiences I've ever had. They're all, they've all been my friends since we were about four or five like so we've all been around each other for the longest time so they've really taken me in as one of their teammates and they've really accepted me to they know I can do stuff get stuff done on the field so they really trust me and I really trust them and it's a great environment what are you going to take from this week to show them um probably just more of the intangibles like hustle and confidence um attitude and effort coach Veronica was talking about that last night you can really only control the controllables like your attitude and your actions so I'm really going to take that from that and from the talk and bring it back to the boys back home and see how, ma how many people we can just beat. What's the talent like been here? The talent here is insane. These girls are so good. Like it's so much fun to be around them and see how everybody's evolved over the years. Cause I've been playing with a bunch of these girls since we were younger too. But even just seeing Naomi over there, like from breakthrough, she's gotten so much better from breakthrough already. She's hitting nukes. So it's awesome to see everybody improve. It's so fun. Started playing around two to three years old. Why did you want to play baseball? Um, I kind of just grew up around the game. My dad had been in the game for a while. He coach, he was, didn't coach. He still coaches anyway. But he's been around the game in minor leagues, and now he's actually one of the um, scorers for the Boston Red Sox, one of the official scorers. So I've just been around the game since literally forever. And basically the second I was born, he put a ball and a bat in my hand and told me to go play. And so I'm here. It's the best experience ever. What do you want other girls to know about girls in baseball and doing this? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, what I want other girls to know is just to keep on playing because it'll get better, you'll get through it. Keep on putting the work in. Um, if you put the work in, you'll get to where you want to be eventually. Like, get 1% better every day and you never know what's going to come for you. Clearly, we're making progress. With yes, ma'am. In baseball, since over half of you are participating this week, what does it mean to you and to see all these girls breaking barriers and part of the progress? Um, it's such an honor to be out here and be part of the progress as we're breaking barriers towards the future of girls baseball. It's also so fun to just be out here playing baseball with my best friends. Um, it's also really heartwarming to see everybody just doing their thing and getting out there, just kicking some butt. It's so fun. It's awesome. What's your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal, be on the women's national team for Coach Veronica, starting catcher. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Queridos amigos, sigan con la máquina deportiva. De parte de José Alberto El Canario, un fuerte abrazo a todos ustedes, siempre dándole su buena salsa. ¡Víralo al revés! ¡Vira que se te ve, que se te ve! ¡Llévatela!